Hello, I'm another research teacher. And today, I'll be talking about Stellar Solo as a promise. Note yourself, on my Bella Solo Pro video, I recommend a Bella Solo Pro video. I saw Bella Solo Pro videos where they are Bella Solo Pro as tall as I am. But actually, they only decided to be chicken. Miss Buster, Jurassic Park make the amends. Now, as I said, today I'll be talking about Stellar Solo. Firstly, why did they leave? They lived in Australia some, let me say, 16 million years ago. When did they live? They lived in the Kingston era, which was the time after all those. Oh, so at the end of the Kingston era, that's the time they lived. That's when, when they were uh, in the Kingston era, when it was created. As I said, they lived after the Kingsdown era. Uh, they actually did, they didn't see live to see the they lived after the Ice Age, so yes, it couldn't have killed them. It normally eats you know, it's it's a how many but that means it eats berries and it eats plants and meat because it sits the plants are in the back corners. Eat both. It's an omnivore. Although of its size. But how did it die? It died because of starvation. When Giant's limb was. It probably, I'll make a limb of it. Giant's limb of it. Giant's limb of it. Went extinct because of the They could not eat anything. They, they, they could not adapt, so they died out. It's haunted because it's a solitary hunter. When it's haunted for meat, it would, it's because it's for its size, size, it just easily just either to bite it or it just claw it. If it's a fast animal, like the Lithodon, which lived after the ice age, it would claw it. Would claw it or if it bites its underpart, just like Terra Bird do. I'll make my, uh, my Terra Bird video after my Hasty Blue video, okay? Just name on probably. His natural enemies were normally Giant Lemon. Giant Lemon, as much as it's prey, it's also its enemy. Giant Lemon and human beings with Hasty Blue and Terra Bird. Was his arc enemy was human beings. The native aborigines of those times would tell us earlier, them and tell us earlier, would clash very, it would, it would be a very bloody clash among the both of them. Tell us earlier, its size and humans' brains. It would be a very, well, I shouldn't say call it fetish, call it war, because they are completely, perfectly matched in different ways. How big it is it? Compared to me, it is two times my height at shoulder shoulder point. It was the largest marsupial at that time. It was the largest marsupial at that time. Yes, it was a marsupial. Living in Australia. Marsupials live everywhere of this planet. But until they were killed, 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 and the remaining ones today. It was how large was it? It had three layers of skin plus the fur, which makes that four layers. Let's imagine, and that a knife had to struggle before it can enter its skin. As its skin is, is the toughness of its skin is relevant to feathered skin. Let's imagine that it might be this big now. Humans won't stand a chance. Actually, they will. They have a lot of animals, you know. The skin color was normally brown with spots, just like a, a, a Tasmanian quill. I will make that video as soon as I'm done with the timeline and back and back to modern days. Okay? It has spots, like I said, like a just orange with spots, just like an American Tasmanian quill. Sorry. And 
what did it did it kill humans if it's also right? It would so gladly eat humans. But it's already of them. So would it's but so sometimes we are seeing that as a little cloth or bite smart on a on a native human head. So we should be as really lucky with that. As as I said you lived in Madagascar. That's what of that. Madagascar is not is a third world country. Mm. Sorry. The third world country. And it ha- barely has any weaponry. If you're if you're in Madagascar and watching this, please don't be angry. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you know when we can new video. And my next video will be a hot ebook. Until then, good day.